guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin in a vast space which was not divided at all that's right an infinite space two great energies collided with each other giving existence to a powerful warrior of a peculiar appearance since all his hair was a silver color as on his body red marks covered him what is this? Who am I? The warrior had been in the first existence in all that gigantic outer space, wandering all over the universe for hundreds of years. He had become bored with his monotonous life. I've lived for hundreds of years, so with 60%, I'll create an existence which is capable of even giving life. And with the remaining 40%, I'll create this protective guardian who will be the one who guides him all the way. That warrior with his great, almost infinite power was able to create the king of the whole, Xenosama, being simply a baby. That's right, to the said being need a sufficient amount of energy. Apparently I'll have to use all my energy reserves to create a warrior to protect him. That entity would form the great priest, the first angel of everything existing, which at the moment was able to be born with an incredible power, being below the Xenosama, but was able to reason and communicate. You'll be named as the High Priest Daishenken, my firstborn. Nice to meet you, Father, but why your firstborn? Were you not the creator of the great Xenosama? I have helped its creation, because as far as I was able to realize, I was the first god in these territories. Does that mean that there are only other beings outside these territories? That's right. I only guided myself in the DNA of those beings, so that I'd also be a king of the whole. But you will be my first son, and the one who will guide Xenosama in everything. It'll be a pleasure for me, father. I promise not to let you down. I'm counting on you, Daishenken. And what'll happen to you, father? Where are you planning to go? I'm using too much power. To give you the ability of reasoning, I have used all my energy reserves, so I will disappear. Before Daishenken's able to say anything, the whole body of the god in front of him was enveloped in a great golden light. Daishenken would take the little Xenosama with his great power and knowledge. He was able to create a palace. This will be known as the Kingdom of the All, and will be the home of the great Xenosama. Millions of years had already passed in which Xenosama had been able to grow, even being able to erase universes, which he understood that they should not exist. Meanwhile, the Golden Light was able to enter the body of a small Saiyan, which was bound for planet Earth. That great god had fallen asleep totally in the body of Kakarot, having no divine energy. Daishenken, I feel really bored. I want to do something fun. Tell me, my lord, what do you have in mind? I don't know, Daishenken. Do you mind if we do some races? All the moment, the god of Universe 7 along with his angel had arrived at the Kingdom of the All. Father, long time no see. I have news about negative energy warriors in Universe 7. My mother has not allowed me to interfere. Long time no see, Wiss. You know how she is, Mikoshin. She's not all interested in the life of mortals nor of gods, so you can take proper measures for the matter. When he was about to leave, Xenosama would get on Beerus, as if he were dealing with a horse. Beerus would say absolutely nothing since it was about the king at all. Daishaken would give a smile. God Beerus, I'd ask you in favor to play a moment with the great Xenosama, since I have been very bored lately. Beerus, without any option, would play a few moments with the great Xenosama. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Goku was being able to face the powerful kid Boo. His power in Super Saiyan 3 was incredible being enough to beat Kid Boo. That demon's been powerful. Uh, for a moment, I thought I wouldn't be able to defeat him. Kakarot, we have no limits. So even though it's difficult, we'll be able to overcome it. You're right, Vegeta, but I want to become much more powerful. 
but inside Goku's body, his true essence was about to awaken. That's right, Goku, without knowing it, had been the first to be created by said explosion. For that very reason, said golden light had waited for his counterpart to form a being again. For that reason, his power in each transformation was much more powerful than normal. After a while, Goku would leave to train within the planet of Kaiosama. I've been able to become very powerful, but I'm still not satisfied with my power. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, he had woken up from his great dream, after exterminating several negative energy warriors. Hey, Whis, if I destroy the planet of the Saiyans as ordered... That's right, my lord Beerus. 99% of all Saiyans have been annihilated. Now I have to look for the opportunity to fish with that damn Frieza. He thinks he's more powerful than me. That will be impossible, Mr. Beerus, since Frieza was defeated by a Saiyan. Beerus would be very surprised asking to meet said Saiyan, so both deities would quickly leave for the planet of the Kai, where Goku was. This is bad. It's really bad. I feel like the power of Beerus, it's heading towards this place. What's wrong with you, Kai? I can tell how upset you are. But at that moment, two beings would arrive on the planet, leaving Goku a little amazed since he wasn't able to perceive the power of both subjects. Nice to meet you, Saiyan. Is it true that you defeated the mighty Frieza? That's right, I was able to beat Frieza. Yeah, I want you to have a confrontation with you. I want to prove what is the limit of all your power. <laughs> It'll be my pleasure to know that you're a god. Without trusting himself, Goku would access the Super Saiyan 3, with which he would begin his attack against Beerus. But it would be in vain, since Beerus was able to dodge each of his blows. Damn it, don't underestimate me. Goku would raise his power to the maximum, which left Whis and Beerus a little surprised. Goku was a few centimeters away from reaching Beerus' face, but the god with great dexterity was able to dodge him. Defeating this Saiyan with 10% of all my power will not be possible. I'll have to release 15% of all my power. Beerus, by releasing 15% of all his power, with an accurate blow to the neck, was able to knock him out of combat. A greeting, KO. We'll see each other next time. Now we'll have to leave to planet Earth. On the planet Earth, the god Beerus would also arrive and search for the Super Saiyan God, but finding absolutely nothing, he would face the Z Warriors. Being in vain, Beerus, being about to destroy the Earth, was able to feel the power of a god. That's right, Goku had been able to access the state of a god because inside lay the essence of the first divine being of all that territory. This is strange, the essence emanating from that Saiyan is incredible, it even seems to overcome the power of Lord Beerus. So. You were just hiding her true power. I don't know how I have this power. Only feeling cornered and knowing that you were going to destroy Earth, this power flowed all over my body. Okay, let's stop talking. Fight against me. So it was as both warriors began with their great battle in which Beerus would use 50% of all his power, being impossible to face the Saiyan, which was dominating the power in its entirety. That's right, the power of Goku was able to overcome 50% of the power of Beerus. Is that all? I thought the God of Destruction would be much more powerful than this. <laughs> so you're very confident. Now I use 100% of all my power to check if you're able to keep up with me. Beerus would begin to expel 100% of all his power, while Whis had placed a powerful barrier throughout Universe 7. Beerus' power seemed to have no limit, while a large purple explosion could be observed by Beerus. I'm ready, Saiyan. Me too. Despite the fact that Goku had his guard up, he was not able to dodge or block a powerful blow, which had been able to leave him almost out of combat, because the power that Beerus had used in that blow was capable of destroying half of the entire Universe 7. That blow was normal. It can't fool me, that blow is extremely powerful, and Kakarot's body was able to resist it. Goku at the time, he would begin to receive a brutal beating, and despite possessing the regeneration of the Super Saiyan God, Beerus' attack even surpassed his regeneration. Beerus in one blow would send him to a few mountains. Is that all you wanted me to use as 100% of all my power for? I must confess, you are powerful, but to face a god, you still don't have the required level. I'm not defeated yet, and I can still keep fighting. Goku was able to get back to his feet, with great difficulty, but the imposing god to the maximum of his power was able to knock him out again with a single blow to his stomach, with which he was able to make the Saiyan spit out too much blood. That's all for the moment. Let's whiz. 
Both deities would go to their planet while Goku would put on a recovery machine so that he would be able to heal all his wounds. However, inside all his energy, his true essence, was about to awaken. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of the Whole, Daishenka was very thoughtful. What happened to my father's existence? I'd like to see him for what I've become. I know he'd be very proud of me. Thus, several months had passed in which Daishenkin was thinking about his father, while Xenosama was very thoughtful about organizing a great tournament between all the universes. Daishenkin, I want you to organize a tournament between all the universes, to be able to realize who's the most powerful universe and which we can improve. That seems like a great idea to me, great Xenosama. I'll inform all the gods of this decision very quickly. Daishenken quickly was able to inform all the other gods of destruction, so the whole Universe 7 already had his team made. However, Goku, thanks to the training he had received from Whis, was able to connect with his essence much more, even remembering several things from his past life. This is amazing! Despite being left without any divine energy, my technique worked! I'll be able to see everything that has happened in these millions of years. Goku, you're the most powerful warrior in the entire Universe 7. I trust that with your power, we'll be able to win that tournament. Don't worry, Mr. Beerus. I assure you, we'll get that victory. Okay, you can return to planet Earth, as the tournament will be held in about two weeks, so you can train or spend with your relatives. I want to unlock all my true essence. I'll leave to the room of time. Goku would leave to continue with his mental training, and the Habitacon of time, in which he was able to take advantage of time in a better way. Goku, while he was meditating, was able to unite his essence in 95%. That's right, he only lacked 5% of essence. I don't think that joining my divine essence would be so complicated, but I'm already very close to achieving it. But in order to not stress out, I'll physically train too. Goku would start training, being able to achieve the perfect Ultra Instinct. That's right, despite possessing the essence of an ancient god, he was never able to know the Ultra Instinct. How strange this state is, but I feel much lighter, and even I feel that I could dodge any attack. To spend three years in the Room of Time, Goku would come out of with his clothes totally worn out, but his power had grown in an incredible way. I've been able to merge my essence in 98%. I'm satisfied. But I know 2% will find the kingdom of the whole. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well, guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Strike, girl.